Oh, Castor. Getting paired up again. It's the legend of uh, fun line chess. The openings does he play? Slab? Let's go G3. Some stiff theory here. And now DC. It's a little bit surprising. So I'll just go knight c3, play like a normal loop play. There was also a4 there, which is a pretty popular move, but I didn't. Okay, e4. I've seen this, but this doesn't make any sense, no? Let's go h3 now. I was not worried about bishop d4. So yeah, you can play like this, but these pieces are somewhat funnily placed. And I'm just gonna play in the center and claim that yeah, he's got an extra pawn, but nothing much else is good about his position. E6 He's sort of begging me to go h4 and then e5, play on the dark squares. Let's go, let's just go bishop d2, c1. Ah, and then I allowed this. I so saw it immediately as I, as I made the move. Bishop d2, moral of the story is stiff moves. They're always punished. Okay, rook b1, I'm still doing fine. G4, it's the plan, and his dark squares, his dark squares are definitely a bit iffy. Okay, we'll give a check. Would Morphe win this as white? against me the way I'm playing, probably. What's the difference between Pila and Eval? I'll have to ask Asios. He's the resident Peel expert. Queen E3 first. I think so. Hinting at this. Now I could give a check, take an e6. Or I could take on c6. Taking on c6, maybe just. And then I got d5. Looks very strong. I don't think he can survive this. Even good old Custer. So I got d5. Should win, like, uh, sorry, d6 takes, takes, rook d7, followed by knight e5. There's no reason to overcomplicate things. I 
a sec. Could also go Queen D4, King G8, Knight of Six, Four by Knight D7, King H7, Knight of Six again. King H6. Is there a knock out there? We'll just trade. No, that that stuff was probably winning, but this seemed just a tad easier. Just have complete domination here. Okay, seven as well. Uh, actually, why did I do rook a seven? What did I think I had here? I should have winning a piece because of this and this. Genie seven, I can just take. Still suffering from excessive stiffness here, but yeah, game was easy enough. Yeah, okay. Hmm, not so happy with that game. But there you are, yeah, Kremnik is on 5.5 out of 6, just as I am. So I might get to play him again. Do I like classical chess? Mm -mm, it's okay. Parts of it is really interesting. So we got Sanan Shugirov. He's the only player with 6 out of 6. Then we have 7 players with 5.5 um, five, five out of 6, and then a bunch more with 5 out of 6. There's a Botios command now as well. Botios may be the most underrated engine in the world. If I play Kramnik, I must win on time. Yeah. 
I wish we were playing without increment then. Moral degradation would definitely be on the cards.